So you put your what you, you put your left foot in, and then you take it out again, right? Okay, and we did that. And then what? And then you put your right foot in, right? And then you take that out again. What, 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 what ludicrous is that? What's the point in that? So then what? What? And then you what? You do the hokey what? And you turn around. And that's that's it. That's what it's about. All right. Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Virtual Racers Club. We are here for a very special round indeed. We're here for round five. Yay! I think that marks, we'll look, put that up. Um, I think that marks about halfway. I think it's a 10 week championship. I'm not sure, but I, I believe it is. So, and we're at Bathurst, which is even more special. That's what I meant, really. Uh, so, we're at round five of the Super Touring Car Championship. And uh, we are at the Bath of Hursts. And uh, we'll get some info up so I don't have to think too much because thinking is hard. It's Tuesday. It's two day at, at second day at work. It's, you know, things get frazzled by now. So what is the STCC? STCC is our take on an iconic super touring car era of the 90s. BTCC. Using selected Group 3 versions of family cars, qualifying will set the grid for both races, with the sprint being a reverse of qualifying results. 10 rounds, 20 races. We're going to have a 10 minute qualifying with a sprint race of 35 miles and a feature race of 85 miles. Like he said, the man said, we're going to be using family cars like the Subaru. WRX, Mitsubishi Lancer. Now I think they're just four door. I think that's the way of saying four door. Is it? Has that been? They're not got four doors. It makes me out to be. No, it's only got two doors. Well, it's like what a family would have um, if they didn't have one of those god awful four by four things. Read then. Let's get on with uh, any more information. I don't think there is. I, I think I've told you everything you need to know. There's, uh, they, they use all the tyres. They've just got to use two compounds over the whole weekend. And uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about qualifying. I think they can change tyres. They do. They do. They do do. They do 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 do. They do change the tyres in between uh, qualifying and the race. So, yeah, there's not really much uh, in the way of rulage on those, uh, on those um, tyre rules. It says just use two compounds over the round right then let's get on to the all important table because i think excel's back up and running now so we're all good so haza is at the top on 152 points with matt psycho in second on 138 halfway through this championship or just getting to the halfway point there's still a lot to fight but uh, for but haza is a formidable beast to try and beat um, Matt Psycho's got his work cut out for him, is what I'm trying to say. Mama Sykes is in the chat. She says, evening, everyone. Let's have some good racing. Hi, Thingy. Hope you are good. I am good. Thank you very much. Except for that, that Tuesday syndrome. But we can't help with that. That's why we do the racing, is to pick ourselves up after a, 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 a grueling Tuesday. So third in the championship is Homesick Alien on 112 points. And he's ahead of Sharen in fourth on 105 points. Then we have Ensign Ewart having a rather good season there in fifth place on 74 points. But Koi Karp could ruin it all in sixth on 72 points. Then Baza, seventh, always one to put spoiler party, is on 66 points. Then we've got Pat on eighth in 46 points. Madalinski in ninth on 41 points. Snorlax is tenth on 40 points. Harvey or Scary Rambo is eleventh on 39 points. Um, the uh, Kimi Raikkonen is 12th on 38 points with Mrs. Guesty in 13th on 37 points. Jokers is 14th on 31 points. Silverstar 15th on 19 points. Flashman is 16th on 15 points. There you go. What a rundown. Um, so, yeah, loads to battle. I know I should have told you the cars. Haza and Matt Psycho are both in Peugeot's. The Peugeot's. And uh, they are rather... They're, they're very fast. I don't think, I think they've, uh, they've dodged the bot somehow. They've, they've just been ultimate beasts. Homesick has chipped away at their armor. And uh, Madalinski in the chat saying, hello, thingy. Why, hello, Madalinski. Have a good race, man. Have a good race. Um, 
So I can't see Hazza. I don't know if he's here yet. He's hiding in the pit lane or something. A bit shy. No, he's not in yet. So the other Hazza, I mean the other Hazza, the other Peugeot is Hazza. Shiren is in a Beamer. He's in the Bemu, Bemumu, uh, BMW. And uh, he's doing very well in this championship. He's uh, struggling on with its battles like uh, tire wear, but Shiren, the Russian sensation, cracking on. Mrs. Guesty in the mid seat. And uh, she's had some very strong races. I think she had to miss last week due to um, time of the month. I don't know. Is that sexist? Sorry, I apologise. It was the first thing that popped in my head, and I usually say the first thing that popped in my head. It was wrong of me, and please don't come at me. So, Mrs. Guesty, no, I think it was something a lot more serious than that. It was, uh, I don't know. But she, she was unable to race last week. Let's just say that. Um, so, Mrs. Guesty is... Um, Having a great season as well. Jokus, he's in a BMW in sixth place. He's met the walls of Bathurst. We should get on board with someone, shouldn't we? Because this is a, a this is an amazing track. Oh no, Mama Sykes saying love this circuit. Yes, thank you, Mama Sykes. So, oh, he look, he's just in the right place as well. Look at us, Matt. We were just getting comfortable. I was just going to put my phone down and everything. You have a word, Mama Sykes, you know what I mean? So, Sharon, we're about to you on the track. Yeah, he's coming up to the final corner. And uh, Sharon is going to take us around a lap of the Bathurst. I think we're going to be delaying uh, Quali. I mean, he asked for 10 minutes to speak to his poor, poor, poor Nana, because it's Pat's birthday, I believe, today. Pat the chat, pat the stat. Oh, he's out there driving around. Maybe he's had his chat with his nana. I hope he didn't cut her short. He had to wait for the uh, soaps to finish, and then nana was going to give him a call to wish him an happy birthday. I hope he's not shunned her to go racing. That's a terrible thing to do, Pat. But on board. Sorry, yeah, Shrim, we've gone up the straight. We've gone around the right-hander. We got carried away with Pat's nana. And there's some tight left-handers coming up here. Very tight up here. You don't want to smash that wall. As you bring it around up and swing it to the right, sister. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Let's swing it to the right again, but then quickly whip it to the left, because you never know. It might be just as much fun as going left. Let's do left again. Let's do a really fast left. Go on, really fast left. Yeah, no, a faster left now. I want a faster left. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to get some heavy braking going on, because now things are going to go crazy. The track just takes turns into a snake and decides it doesn't want to go that way. I'm going to go this way. No, let's go that way. And that's Bathurst. That's why it's the hokey pokey of tracks. And then one last tight. I'm well, not last because we've got the Hell's Corner, but a tight one to get yourself onto the straight. And then you can have a bit of a breather. You can have a little chill pill because man alive, the S's were crazy. All downhill. Gravity is not your friend at that point. So this is a nice break. You can come and smash it along the straight here. There is a, a slight kink in the corner, but for the group three cars, it won't even be a lift. No. And then heavy braking for Chase because man alive, that corner can catch you out. Look, you can't see it until that point and it's too late by then. And uh, then we just uh, toodle on down to the fast last corner. The fast, the last corner. And I think that one's called, no, it's not Hell's. That's um, Murray Corner, I think. I think the first corner is called Hell's Corner. I apologise. They're very similar corners. It's just a square. And that's over the line. That was Bathurst. We're not going to talk about this. So Hell's, another tight left-hander. And then floor it on the straight. And we picked it up at the top of the straight. So that's a lap. We've done the chat. Uh, qualifying is delayed by five minutes because Pat's got a chat to his nana. And uh, we haven't looked at everyone, have we? So Harza is in the box. He's in the room, he's in the lobby, and he's our championship leader in the Peugeot. Then we have a Matt Psycho in the sister Peugeot. Then we have Sharen in the BMW. We've got Snorlax in a non-Mazda, and then we've got the Bazza in a non-Lexus. Then we have Ensign Ewer also in a non-Lexus with the halves in a BMW. Madelinsky is in a non-Mazda, I believe with uh, Pat in a Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. Oh, 
Tá não só. Me chama peixe. I didn't do it. I did it again. I pressed R and didn't press enter. I my my brain works quicker than my fingers. Go away, Baz. Ripper, mate, says Pat. Put another. Oh, wait, Pat's in the chat. Sorry, Pat. Uh, she phoned a bit earlier than expected. It's all sorted. Oh, bless. Good stuff. Hey, man. It's good that you can still talk to your nana. I have to look up when I talk to my nana. So, Haza then. Well, one of my nanas I have to look up. The other nana is probably I have to look down. But you never know. There's hope. Everyone's parking up. Ensign knew it. In his... If he'd shared that, bugger, he nearly got Cars the Star. But he's not a sharing type. He must be an only, only child. Because he doesn't like to share his beautiful liveries out there. Although Baz is just as good. I'm not putting Baz's down in any way. But yeah, the Ewart's not sharing. What are we doing? We're parking around a corner where no one can see. And there's Homesick finally getting on track and finding a wall. And now qualifying starts. And we are up to date. Get it on. Bang a gong. Get it on. Come on. Beautiful. Let's get these cars moving. Let's get those wagons rolling. So Snorlax out on the track in the non Mazda, just ahead of a Peugeot, I believe. Is that one? It might not be. I think Homesick. He's out there already in the Hyundai. Hyundai Yaliba. And uh, Draper Tools, Hyundai Genesis. He's followed by a Snorlax. It's a long lap. It's going to take a while. I imagine the Peugeots will want to uh, whip by. I don't think um, that Psycho is going to want to sit that close to the non Mazda. And uh, Mrs. Guesty finding herself a delectable bit of space there. Nice little space in front. And some uh, rather swift people. So she can uh, not guarantee, but she, there's, a, there's a higher percentage of a chance to not come across a stricken car and uh, oh she's got Haza behind her though that's always a concern Haza he's got very good car management so I'm sure he'll be fine so homesick alien then he's on the outlap in his Hyundai Genesis onto the, uh, the straight before the chase ah oh, yeah fair dinkum It's been, it's, this, this season's been really tight. I've got, uh, you know, other than the Peugeots, I know the Peugeots seem to be, I mean, they're not in, they're not unbeatable. We've seen Homesick get in front, and I think Shirin maybe once get in front of uh, Matt Psycho, but they're due to Matt Psycho's mistakes more than, uh, what well, Homesick, I mean, Homesick and Shirin have raced amazingly, but, you know, without a, a, a very odd mistake from the psycho every now and again they wouldn't have got ahead of him but um very close down the field i think i mean the masters are in it the masters are in it but they, they i think they shed their tires a bit quicker the beamer sheds his tires i think homesick just does it doesn't that hyundai probably does but homesick seems to look after a set of tires rather well he's on his run now He'll be the first to cross the line. He'll be setting the baseline that we'll all be working to. Get out your uh, notepads and pens, ready. And um, Snorlax's not that far behind. Matt Psycho did drop back then for his flying lap. And they're all looking rather swift at the moment. Mrs. Guesty as well, looking very nifty. Haza there in the Peugeot. Guesty in the chat saying, good evening, thingy. Hi, Guesty. Don't, don't let the wife watch this stream later or skip a good portion of the beginning. Uh, Madelinsky 
they're not, they're not then positions. I'm just going through, giving you something to look at because it's a long bloody lap before we get a lap time. And then when we get a lap time, we'll get loads of lap times. It'll be no ending. I'm surprised he's not even there. He's only halfway down the straight. For God's sakes, man. Ensign, whoa, looking wild in the Atenza. He's playing dare with a couple of walls today. And uh, homesick. Come on, Mrs. Guesty. Come on, Mrs. Guesty. Yes, Guesty, you tell her. She's had some. She had a cracking season. I tell thee. So there's homesick putting down the baseline. It's a 203.8. Snorlax next across the line. He's purple. He's taken that. Matt Psycho next across the line, and he is. Oh, he's taken homesick alien, but not managed to beat Snorlax this time. Mrs. Guesty crossing the line. Stays where she is, two seconds of drift over oh, homesick. Alien Haza is going to be fast, we know that. We know Haza is going to be fast, but where will he sit? Oh, someone else has put a lap in. Where, where's that come from? Where are all these people from? So the halves, I thought I went to the next person. I thought it was Haza. It's all jumbled up. So let's get, Harvey has gone sixth fastest ahead of Madelinsky in seventh. Sharen is eighth across the line he has Haza only 10th he did warn that he's not had much practice uh, 12th for Baza yeah because Haza's dropped down to 11 because someone else has crossed the line oh no Baza's not put a timing yet let's, let's sit with Baza because we made a right pothole mess of that well I'm blaming bloody the order they had on the track that's crazy so the Baz has crossed the line but he's had a really bad lap 17 seconds back on Haza. So after that first race, that first lap of qualifying, my lord. Oh dear. I guess he says it's on live. <coughs> or maybe I've put some fire in, fire in the lady. Got her riled up. My wife loves it when I make sexist remarks. She really gets het up and, and it, it really spurs her on. So Snorlax. Oh God. I'm going to get the sack tonight. Homesick alien out there. Right, let's go through the times. So let's not get distracted. So uh, Snorlax, fastest man on track, 203.1. Then we have that Matt Psycho on a 203.4. Homesick alien managing a 203.8. He's coming to the line again. Shall we wait to see what he's got? Ooh, it's faster, I think. 203, six tenths. Snorlax crosses the line. He's no faster. Then we've got Matt Psycho crossing the line. And he goes... A Pole position for Matt Psycho with a 2.025, is it? Yes, a 2.025. Snorlax then second with a 2.036. And Homesick Alien third with a 2.032. Joker so far, fourth fastest. Very good in the BMW. There's other people crossing the line, though. We might see some changes. And there we see Harves has gone faster. Sharen's gone fourth fastest, just. And Joker's somewhere around. And no one's near the line. Oh, they're crossing the line. No, they're not. And Haza's gone faster. Where's he gone? Second fastest for Haza. We'll stay with Pat in 10th at the moment. Koi has gone faster. And Pat stays where he is in 10th. He's just ahead of the halves. 207-1, five tenths behind Pat is tight. Big Dan goes faster as well. We'll try and find everyone. It's crazy out there. Madelinsky, oh, just gets pipped by the Baz, who has disappeared in the crowd. So let's do a run through. Matt Psycho is the pole sitter at the moment before he gets round again. We've got a bit of time. We can do this. Matt Psycho is pole. Haza is in second. The Peugeot's one and two. Where have we seen that before? Snorlax, though, we haven't seen that before. Fastest of the rest in the non Mazda. He is in third place. Three tenths adrift of Haza. Homesick Alien is a fourth on the grid at the moment, only a tenth behind Snorlax. Then we've got Sharen, fifth fastest in the BMW, and he's only half a second off of the Alien. Then we've got Jokus in sixth in the other BMW. He's a second point eight, and he's got a slidey back end. And that Beamer looking like he's giving him some jip. The Baz is seventh fastest so far in the Atenza, in the, the Lexus Atenza. And uh, he is the top of the non-Lexuses. 
Koikarp just behind him in his Atenza though, one and a half seconds, nothing in it. Then we have the other Atenza in ninth with uh, oh, three hundredths of a second off of the Koi. Mrs. Guesty in tenth, crossing the line, but it's not as good a lap as she's got to sit, reset and do it again. But tenth is good ahead of Pat, seven tenths. And Pat giving it some welly at the moment. Down the straight, getting a big wobble on. sharen has gone third fastest. He's pipped the alien. No, he's pipped Snorlax and the alien. My word, more more times coming in. Haas has taken pole away. Haas has taken pole away from Matt Psycho. We'll watch Matt Psycho's lap then. His fight for that back. Although there may be a pit stop. No, no one's going to pit. No one dare pit. There's only a minute left. This is all on you now, Matt. The pressure, he's got to find a tent and he'd like to find some more as well because Hazer will be still bombing around. Big Dan completing a lap. He's not in the top eight. We'll find him later. Has he gone ahead of Koi? No. Where is he? He has. He's jumped Bazza as well and Joker. So Ensign Ewart, great run, great run. Back to Matt Psycho. Have we? Oh, Matt, no, 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 no. Matt, hopefully that's part of the plan. No, and that's it. Matt's done for qualifying. And Hazer is on pole. Can Sharen find six tenths? Can Snorlax find seven tenths? Can Homesick Alien find eight tenths? There's nothing in it. Unbelievable. So who's closest to the line? It's got to be the alien, Annie. The alien going through the chase. And he's just ahead of Snorlax. The timer has run out. Whoever crosses the line from now on is done. So Homesick Alien just looking for a tenth to get ahead of Snorlax. Or eight tenths to get pole. What can he produce? Ooh, third place knocks Sharen back down. Now we're into Snorlax. He crosses the line. He doesn't go any faster. Where is Sharen in the mix of the mixers? He's going through the chase. Uh, Ensignor is quite early in his lap. Jokus, I don't think. Oh, oh, oh! This is the next person. It's Mrs. Guesty to cross the line next. And, uh, can she? Her first lap was the fastest. Oh, and I don't think that one's going to do it either. So Mrs. Guesty starting ahead of Pat, unless Pat can find some extra time. More people crossing the line. I don't know who. Haza, and it does, it's a foregone conclusion, isn't it, so far? He's on pole. Is he going to get even more on pole? Homesick Aliens out. He's done in third. Sharen is done. He's fourth. Snorlax is done. He's in fifth. Then we've got Ensign Newart. He's still on a run. There's still some people crossing the line. There we go. Koi Karp, can he jump Bazza? He cannot. Is Bazza on a run? Bazza's on a run. Ensign Ewart, though, he's done very well out of that little group. And he's coming around. Pat's gone faster. Oh, no, he's gone up to seventh, Pat. Well done. Super drive. And Ensign Ewart, then, he does not beat his time. And Jokus, he's just coming around to the line. Can he up his uh, time and move up the grid? Oh, he cannot, but Baz is just crossing the line behind him. Does he go any but faster? No. Koi Karp in 10th, then he's done. And uh, Mrs. Guesty we saw crossing the line, and Pat doing that, a miraculous lap right at the dead. A 2.054, putting himself nine hundredths ahead of the Polish pilot, and uh, three tenths behind Ensign Ewart. What a thrilling qualifying that was. Confusing, and uh, but, but fun. Haza then. Gets himself pole with an unbelievable time of a 202.3. Only a tenth, though, ahead of uh, the Psycho. So that's going to be a tough battle in the sprint and the feature. Homesick Alien, best of the rest. In third with a 2027. Sharen, a 202.740. It's so close between the Alien and uh, the Russian sensation. Snorlax looking fast at the very beginning, but he just couldn't emulate that first lap time. And starts fifth on the grid. Ensign Newer, amazing stuff from Ensign there in the, the non Lexus in sixth place with Pat. The story of the qualifying in seventh there in the Mitch Bishy, punching way above his weight ahead of uh, the BMW of uh, Jokus and all of, uh, well, two Mazdas, Baza and uh, Koikarp and uh, Guesty, Mrs. Guesty, sorry, in 11th with the half starting in 12th. And Madelinsky starting in 13th. Is there 13 of you? Wow. So I'll show you those. I can show you that. I don't know why we're sitting there just staring into space. So there we go. Haza 
is your pole sitter in the Peugeot with a 202.379. Matt Psycho so close in uh, alongside him. Mm-hmm. Homesick Alien in third with Sharen in fourth. Snorlax fifth. Ensign Ewartstein in sixth. Pat in seventh. Jokus in eighth. Then we have the Baz in ninth. Koi Karpstein in tenth. Guesty, Mrs. Guesty in 11th and Scary Rambo 12th, Madelinsky in 13th. Ah, Jim. Jim 66 in the chat. It's the wrong place. He should be on the track, but he is racing in a different tournament and uh, he's done the right thing, put all his attention in that tournament. So, and uh, fair play to Jim and good luck to Jim. I haven't, uh, I haven't seen much about what's going on. He, he did post a couple of races. So let's have a look what they look like on the grid, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's so tight here. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you that. That is one of the things. It's a reverse reverse grid for the sprint. So the, all that qualifying means they start the other way round. So Harves is on the back. Madelinski, well, yeah, Madelinski's on the front. It's just weirdly, it always gets it wrong at Bathurst. Lights are out and we are racing here and Mrs. Guesty off to a fantastic start there trying to get herself in between the BMW and uh, the Lexus but she gets the Beamer, Mrs. Guesty up an atom ahead of the halves and Madelinski leads them away and it looks like everyone has survived turn one which is amazing. Yeah, it looks like we've got no horror stories to talk about. Oh, Matt, Matt, oh God, Haas is already up into ninth place. What a what a start for Haas. But Mrs. Guesty, I apologise, has got Madelinski into the second corner. And it's Mrs. Guesty leading the race in the Mitsubishi. She's got to remember those tyres aren't up to full temperature. And do not attack those corners as vehemently as you would ordinarily. Gently, gently, Mrs. Guesty. We see so many times people get a bit excited in the lead. Push that car. Look at this, Madelinski and Harvey having a little wobble on. And I'm not sure if there was any blame to be portioned out there, but the attenza of the Baz scurries up and into second place with Pat now in fourth, Sharen in fifth. We've got Homesick Alien climbing up into sixth, Madelinski slipping to seventh, Harzo climbing up into eighth, and Homesick and... Uh, and Snorlax, where's Snorlax gone? Oh, Snorlax has dropped. Quick up in ninth. Snorlax in tenth place with Ensign Ewart in eleventh. And Matt Psycho is, oh, it looks like Matt must have, he's got damage around the back there. And Joker's also got damage at the front and the back. And Bathurst claiming a few victims early on as uh, Mrs. Guesty has to keep it cool has to stay calm because the Baz, the Belgian bullet, has loaded and he shot his gun. Passed for his way up to third. Pat is on a flyer. The Mitzies are strong. They're strong here at Bathurst. And uh, it might be the straight line speed that doesn't help them, but they're good through the corners. And uh, Mrs. Guesty leads the first lap. And there's some movement down here. Oh, it was Pat. Pat got a bit of a wobble on coming out the last corner, I believe. And now he slipped down into sixth place. And uh, the absolute steam train, that is the Group 3 models, are coming through with Sharen ahead of the halves, ahead of homesick alien Pat. Now will be under threat from the Haas. Oh, no, he's about 4.8 seconds back. In the chat, then, we have a Mama Home 6 saying, Good luck, Home 6. Hi, Thingy. All okay with you? All good, thank you. Jim 66 saying, Racing's going okay. I've got a 12 hour race at Bathurst in a few weeks' time. Ah, so you're here squatting, Jim. You're doing some squatting, are you? So, Mrs. Guesty then is being caught by the Baz, and sometimes you've got to know when to hold them and you've got to know when to fold them. And uh, I'm not saying to Mrs. Guesty, she should just jump out of the way, but just keep a cool head. Keep a cool head is all I'm saying. And the halves a little too far back to get on Mrs. Guesty there from a little wall kiss. And a homesick alien in fourth place. An absolute weapon of a threat of a driver sitting right up the jacksie of the halves. And the halves is dealing with the pressure. Corners. 
but open to a toe here now and I don't think the Mitzi has got a lot of top end speed about it although it's doing very fine against the Beamer and there goes the Hyundai on the toe no not enough tucks in back behind the Beamer and that Beamer very powerful in a straight line and uh, misses Guesty then under a phenomenal pressure coming into the chase and Harvey's gone for a move up the inside he's gone a little too far misses Guesty gets it back but she had to take a bit of dirt and Homesick Aliens having a look around the outside and there's a whole host of cars and Pat as well and they're going for the double take on a double O take on Mrs. Guesty there with a homesick alien. Oh no, Pat didn't get it. Pat didn't pay off. And Mrs. Guesty stays in third place as homesick alien went for a bold move there around the outside. And oh no, Sharen's gone wide into Hell's Corner. And uh, that has let Pat back into fourth with Haza now moving up into fifth. Scary Harvey is in a sixth with Snorlax seventh, Sharen in eighth after that mishap. And uh, he's got Koi Cup just moving past him in the Atenza. Matt Psycho in 11th. This is lovely. All this drama is great for Matt Psycho because he needs those points. Ensign Ewer in 11th. He's moved up ahead of Jokus and uh, Madalinski. And it's fight on between the two Polish uh, pilots here. Baza leads from Homesick Alien with Mrs. Guesty in third and Pat in fourth. Pat could play a great rear gunner here and really fight tooth and nail with the Haas to hand his fellow manufacturer. Uh, no, he's not. He's going for the attack. Oh, well. All's fair in love and war, I suppose. So Pat now up and into third place and Mrs. Guesty has to deal with the flying fin and we've got Harvey in the mix as well but I think I've had a tap with the wall there no damage though so he's all good Snorlax just a, a sniper the sniper just laying in wait behind waiting for this to all unfold and Pat has got away man alive he has pulled away from Mrs Guesty I think we're all on racing softs so I didn't see any different tyres along the way oh I apologise Snorlax is on racing mediums and the halves is just about to tow past him and uh, half, he's on uh, the softs. Oh, and Koi Kart's gone for mediums as well. They want the, 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 the soft tyre in the, in the first in the medium, uh, in the feature race. Matt Psycho's on the softs. Ensign's gone for mediums as well. Joker's on the mediums. And Madelinski on the softs. So there you go. There's a, a, a fair mix there of tyres. I didn't pay attention to it. Home six now in the lead. I apologise. He's got past the Baz. And... Uh, Looking rather gloomy here at uh, Australia, but I assume it's a track that doesn't have rain because the coders at Gran Turismo qualify me are uh, lazy and don't code rate rain for all tracks. So it might look misty, but don't panic. Now it's going to change. So Homesick Alien then is uh, leading from the Baz. And Pat is in third, and Pat is in touching distance of the Baz. This could be fruity, and it could be down to tyre wear. Haas are also in the fret zone in fourth place, with Mrs. Guesty in fifth ahead of the medium tyre gladded Snorlax. So the race may come to him later, but in qualifying, I think they, they looked, they did about nine minutes. I think that was about equated to nine laps, possibly, was it? Less laps was that? I thought they'd done about nine, but. Um, might be nine minutes I'm thinking but still tyre wear wasn't really a big issue after 10 minutes was it and these these 35 mile races are meant to be around 15 minute long so Snorlax though is starting to add some pressure to Mrs Guesty Mrs Guesty on those soft tyres got to get the tyres working for her but she is in the toe zone now and Snorlax will be very tempted to pull the trigger on that one. Haas is not absolutely caning it like we thought he would be. And, and Matt Psycho is up to eighth, but it's taken a while, hasn't it? Those Peugeots, not as uh, fast as we've seen them in the past. May have ever found a track. And there goes Snorlax for a move around the outside, becoming the inside and making a very good job of it. Well done, Snorlax. Fantastic stuff. So Homesick Alien leads, and it looks like Homesick Alien... I don't want to speak too soon. We're only halfway through the race. 
but things are looking good for a homesick alien win this season. I didn't think we'd see one. The Baz in second spot, staying with him, looking good for a podium. Pat may be in trouble now with the Haza, catching him up and looking to get the move done down the straight. And the move is done. It's all about the braking now, but Pat wouldn't dare around the outside, surely not. There we go. Haza up and into third. 3.2 seconds behind the Baz. The Baz now, he has to knuckle down, he has to dig deep, he has to find his centre, and he has to bang in some slapping laps. Pat in fourth place, Snorlax in fifth, but he can't shake off Mrs. Guesty, and the halves oh, is relentless as well, just behind him, seems to be catching the pair of them. And Matt Psycho is on his way as well. Lovely tight battle we've got down here in the midfield. Shuren is on the verge of it as well. In ninth place, Koi Karp on those medium tyres in 10th. Ensign Neuer in 11th. He showed great qualifying uh, pace. Those medium tyres have clipped his wings in the sprint race somewhat. 12th for Jokus. 14 seconds behind the pack. But fighting his damnedest to stay ahead of Madelinsky who is coming on strong so where are we looking at the battle it was about here wasn't it this was the battle with the Peugeot against the BMW down the straight it's about the toe all about the toe no treble and uh, that's uh, Matt Psycho up into seventh oh no oh no I don't know what, what went off in. Sharen flew off the track as well, but I don't, I'm not sure what's happened there. Matt Psycho is slowing down, so maybe he did collect. Mrs. Guesty in the corner. Oh, this is terrible stuff. This race has not gone well for Matt Psycho. Mrs. Guesty then, and Sharen's going to gain out of that if Matt Psycho carries. Maybe, no, he sped back up again. Maybe he's thought, oh, she's gone. It is a struggle, but to know when they don't come back very soon. No, I think he's gone back up to pace. I'm not sure. I didn't press Z for a replay. I think that Psycho thinks I, I pick on him for a replay. We, I, I, we don't know what happened. It was a weird angle. Not sure. But that Psycho now seventh, chasing after the halves. Lost about four seconds. He was fighting with the halves in that little uh, hiccup he had with Mrs. Guesty. Homesick Alien leads. And uh, no one's closing the gap to him. Harza has closed the gap to about... Two, two seconds that he has closed about in about two seconds on the Baz but the Baz has still got two seconds in hand and he's doing some absolute belting lap times and he's got still a fair whack to go come on the Baz but Haza is really starting to raise the game doing a 2032 last time around against Baz's 2053 and uh, that is some scary speeds Pat in meanwhile he seems safe behind Snorlax on the medium tires they're wearing down and the softs are not wearing down as much as you would expect. So the medium tyres have not come into play in this race. Now Harvey has had a little bump with a barrier here. And that's helped Matt Psycho close right in. Oh, and again for the halves. Missing out on that down, the down force at the front of the car with the damage. And uh, Matt Psycho nails him out of the corner. That's Matt Psycho up six, seven seconds behind Snorlax. How far can you go? How far can you go? So the halves getting the toe back down the straight, but I think the Peugeot is going to nail the corner and uh, the Beamer will probably have a little squirrel. Two Beamers. This looks like the Beamers is a handful here at the Bathurst track, which you would expect. They can be a bit squiggly on the accelerators. So, yes tough car to drive and Harvey at the moment is the lead BMW I believe this is Guesty in ninth spot that is a shame that is a shame back on the horse though goes her fastest and she's gone in the race the tyres look fantastic so there might be still a story to tell here if Mrs Guesty can stick with it because those tyres might go from the guys ahead of her She's looking after her tyres like Homesick's looking after his tyres. Harvey has... Oh, Harvey. Haza has got himself past the Baz now. And that's a shame because the Baz did his fastest lap. 
the lap before, but Haza is an absolute unstoppable force. He is. He is born part, part car. It's part car, part man. Pat in fourth. Oh, Pat's gone a very wide one in the very fast corner. And Snorlax is there to give it. He, he says, you're not the first Mitsubishi I've overtaken today. Maybe the last. As he climbs all over Pat, looking for a fourth place on medium tyres, putting himself in a very strong place come the feature race. And uh, Pat is using his soft sock quite liberally. And uh, Snorlax then but doesn't have the grunt. The Lexus, I thought, would have the grunt easily. And it's a drag race, and it's going to be a battle of the balls breaking into the corner. But Pat has got very tight tyres, and Pat does win to the chase and Snorlax concedes. Snorlax looking for a chance to yeet that car right up the inside of the mid seat. Is it going to be Murray Corner? It is not. Snorlax just waiting, biding his time. Matt Psycho in six. It's good for Matt Psycho. He was six seconds off that battle, wasn't he? And now it's like two seconds. Matt Psycho absolutely chunking some lap signs in with Sharen. Now the lead uh, BMW. Halves dropping back and misses Guesty on a flyer, catching up with the halves. The halves' tyres not too torn up, but they're more torn up than uh, Mrs. Guesty. And Mrs. Guesty has got a fire in her belly and she is absolutely leathering it. Ensign Newitt having a so so race, 10th place, not bad, I suppose against the Baz, his, his uh, other car that's in third. It's a terrible race. Koi Karp in 11th, but they went for the medium tyres, remember? Renson and Koi both opting for the medium tyres. Madalinski is ahead of Jokus. Jokus was pulling away from Madalinski, and he's lost a lot of time, and it seems that that, that BMW on medium tyres is a, a lot to deal with. And Madalinski then in the non-Mazda. Also starting to get some good lap times in as the tyres bed in. Homesick Alien then, we're on lap 8 of 10. He still leads this race by 4.4 seconds. And he's doing 2.03s. He's got the fastest lap of the race. And uh, Haza just no, no answer for it. The Peugeots look like they were beat today. Fair and square. The Baz in third can he maintain that podium he's got power but pat's got his hands full his hands full with snorlax and matt psycho and there goes snorlax he is through and now pat's got to deal with a, a fast peugeot coming up his inside again in the chase and uh, the job is done by matt psycho pat and matt racing many years together now god it must be at least two I could get out. Oh, Matt, Pat's back end wanting to step out there. And Matt Psycho is on a tear. He wants that fourth place now. Away from Snorlax. And Snorlax on the medium tyres doesn't have much defence. And the Peugeot just blasts on by. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. And Snorlax staying in there, though. Look at Snorlax all over him. Trying to grab a toe. Pull himself away from Pat a little bit. And Pat is being caught now. The tyre's absolutely shot on the Mitzi. There's still half a life on him, but it looks like Pat is really stu struggling for grip out there. And Sharen is starting to close the gap now on the Mitsubishi. And, uh, Pat leaning on those tyres a little too much in this race, it seems. And now, come the end of the race, he's got no defence. Now, what's the gap? Eight seconds to the halves. But isn't the halves ruining tyres as well? No, the halves seems to be all right. Mrs. Guesty was going on the attack of the halves, but has backed off a little bit. But with Pat on uh, ailing tyres, he's already had a bumper bash. And the halves, tyres starting to go. This is the time Mrs. Guesty should be pushing on. Getting really into that concentration and, and, and banging in some lap times. Ooh, sorry, I don't want to put you off. But there is a chance, there is a chance, I believe, that a couple of guys might spin out in front of you. Ensign Newitt's pushing on. He's not wasting no time, is he? You can see. Look, he did a 206.8, and, and Ensign Newitt getting that same feeling that there's got to be some uh, stricken soldiers ready to fall ahead. 
And Ensign Newitt pushing on. Madalinski's got Koikarp. Oh no, Koikarp. Absolutely cracking race. Totally. Oh, 220 on lap five and a 217 on lap eight. But up till then, Koikarp had hadn't put a foot wrong and Joker's having a nightmare in the BMW so Homesigalian starts the final lap with Haza 3.3 seconds Haza's only pulled in a second on that lap and if that's the judge that we go by the measuring stick we measure by then Homesick cannot be caught we will see though Baza doing fine he's got six seconds on Matt Psycho and I don't think Matt Psycho is going to pull that in in one lap and uh, but yet we can see how close he can get Snorlax on the medium tyre Sharen going strong near the end and then we've got Pat absolutely hardly any tyre left at all and there we see Mrs Guesty has put the work in and she is seeing the halves in front ailing on his tyres possibly still getting okay lap times though so uh, Mrs Guesty uh, put some pressure on the BMW and uh, it looks like Pat's He's struggling, but he's, he's just about getting around. I thought he was on the verge of a spin. But at the moment, he's keeping it under control. That's the racing, isn't it? It's, it's Harvey and Mrs. Guesty, maybe. Ensign Ewitt's dropped back a bit. Madalinski and Koikarp were close, were they not? They are. Koikarp trying to close into that battle. But Haza chasing down homesick. I say chasing him down, he can't catch him. Baz and Matt Psycho have got some distance between them. Snorlax could be in trouble from Sharen. Sharen is very fast near the end of this race. Pat is driving on a on a knife's edge at the moment. But he's got eight seconds on the halves. He's pulled away from Mrs. Guesty. Mrs. Guesty slipping back into Ensign Ewart territory. And Mrs. Guesty pushing. Pushing hard, racing hard, love it. 11th for Madalinski, Koikarp all up and in his business. And Joker still getting acquainted with the Beamer here. So there we go, Home to Galien takes the win. Super stuff from that driver. Haza gets second. That might be Home to Galien's first win in the uh, STCC, so super stuff. And the Baza, take her boo, my son. You got a podium. Third place for the Baz. Matt Psycho comes in, best of the rest, in fourth place. With Snorlax grabbing a fantastic fifth on medium tyres. Sharen in sixth. Pat does maintain that place and gets himself a fine seventh. Great drive, Pat. Great drive on your birthday. Harvey stays ahead of Mrs. Guesty and grabs himself a fine eighth place. Don't do it. <laughs> and uh, Guesty, Mrs. Guesty in ninth. Ensign at tenth. Koikarp nails uh, Madalinski right near the end there. Madalinski's off the road. And uh, now Koikarp comes home for 11th place. And uh, a fine drive. He was maintaining for a, a, a good while there. It's a shame. He must have had a couple of small offs. But Koikarp in the end getting 11th spot ahead of Madalinski. In uh, the Alexis, who's ahead of uh, Jokus. Let's, fair, let's be fair, he has not got on with that BMW during this race. Although he's not as far back as he was. Oh well, yeah, 21 seconds, I suppose. It was 18. Right? In the chat, Mama Homesick saying, well done, son. Koi Carp saying, I really, really hate this track, lol. There you go. Blame the car, Koi. I'm blaming the car, man. And the medium tyres. So, Homesick Alien, I think, I think, I think, uh, I think that might be... His first win in the STCC and the first non-Peugeot win in the STCC. But I might be wrong. Someone else might have won a feature race that I can't remember. And, and I'm blanking out on. I will try and check that information for you. Let me see. Oh, no. I, I apologise. I oh, know because he was in a Peugeot, Kimmy. Yeah, I think that is the first non-Peugeot win of the season there you go hyundai hyundai genesis well done well done homesick great drive let's have a look at those results for you and then we'll have a short little intermission whilst uh, i go and do some pull-ups this time we're doing pull-ups today it's pull day gotta get that chest and shoulders working so homesick alien takes the win 
with Haza in second, Baza, uh, who said that, in third, with Matt Psycho in fourth, Snorlax in fifth, Shuren sixth, Pat in seventh, the Harvey in eighth, Mrs. Guesty in ninth, with Ensign Ewart in tenth, Koi Cup in eleventh, and uh, Madelinsky twelfth, Jokus in thirteenth. Mm -hmm. I don't think the lobby's been changed yet, or will it be changed? It might not be changed. No, it still says qualifying on race 10. Here goes, the lobby is being changed now. And we will try and find some sucker for you to watch for a short while, whilst I, uh, I work on those lats. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Who's first on track? Someone's moving. Someone's moving. Oh, we've got a couple moving. It's Big Dan. It's always Big Dan, but he, he pays. It pays for Big Dan. It pays off to see the man. Okay, you guys. Enjoy. A little bit of uh, Bathurst in your mind With a little bit of Ensign driving by Little Madelinsky in the sly Right, I'll be back.
along in that race. Well, hello, sim race fans. For every mistake I made, I have 15 pounds now. So, in the chat, Madalinski says everything went wrong in that race. He says she et, which I think is Polish for poo. And Madalinski says, if I had a pound for every mistake I made, I'd have 15 quid now. Oh, 15 quid, what you could burn 15 quid on. You could buy credits in game. I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it, even though I need money so bad and I know I could put an elastic band on my controller and make money. I think they've patched it out now. I won't do it, I won't cheat. I will earn the money the right way. I'll play the game how it's meant to be played. So them clouds are quite looming, but I honestly don't know. I don't know what where it can rain and where it can't in this game. But them clouds are dark, aren't they? Ooh. Scary. And Harves is in the chat saying hello thingy. Cracking race, Harves. Cracking race, mate. Lovely stuff. All in there. All in there it was. Cracking. Bit of everything. Sorry guys, I was rubbing my foot. Be grateful it was my foot. Is all I can say. God, how laid back am I tonight? I can't <laughs> half saying cheers, bud. Yeah, I'm being, I'm being, I'm a little bit too slack here, and I? What's going on? All right, let's get them up. So Homesick is asking if we're ready. Did he say a time? See, me and Homesick, we've got like this weird alien telepathy going on. Motion detected at the front door. That means chaos is just coming. Chaos is around the corner. Here we go hockey star so yeah I don't know can it rain can someone tell me can it rain at Bathurst I could ask Google hang on let me Google that no because he'll tell me in real life oh yeah they're impossible showers oh it would have been so much quicker if someone told me in GT7 can it rain at Bathurst. Search. Uh, uh, what tracks can it rain? That's the quickest one to look at. Spa, Colorado Springs, and then it always wants you to go to the website, doesn't it? No rain here on GT7. There you go. I told you it wouldn't rain. It just gets cloudy. What's the point in that? Okay. So here we go. This is the true grid from uh, the qualifying we saw a little bit ago 
with Haza on pole, Matt Psycho in second place, Sharen third fastest home. Well, no, Matt Psycho was on pole, sorry, it's weird, it flips it around. The lights are on, so let's not worry about who's where. Let's worry about the 23 laps we've got ahead of us. And it's go now with the Peugeot standoff at the front and uh, Matt Psycho against the Haza. The Haza on that tight inside line, but he gets through quite nicely. And Matt Psycho has to sit in behind with Shireen in third, Holmes Gaelian in fourth. It's looking good so far that everyone has got through the corner, it seems. Quick up. It's in the back. There may have been a bit of drama there. I'm not sure. But there's a drama up the front with Haza under threat from Matt Psycho. But Haza taking the tighter line and keeping Matt Psycho out there in the cold. And Shireen is nibbling. Now Homesick has found his way past. And he's found a face full of um, Peugeot, which he'd rather get out of the way. Wow, this is a turn up for the books. The Hyundai, very, very strong here. And Haza then tries to maintain ahead of Matt Psycho with Homesick in third, Sharen in fourth, and Snorlax there is fifth place. Snorlax has got pace today, but Haza at the moment being pressured by Matt Psycho. The two Peugeots doing what they do best, tearing it up, but the Hyundai strong in the corners. Look how close Homesick Alien pulls to him through the S's down the hill. And uh, the Hyundai could be a threat to the Peugeots here. Looked after its tyres in the sprint race very nicely. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'll check the tyres. Oh yeah, they just have to use two compounds. Don't matter what they used in the first race, as long as they use two compounds over oh, around. Sorry. I was going to go wackadoodle. So Haza and Matt Psycho still at it on the first lap. They've got 23 of them. They want to. Uh, they want to settle down a bit. Race, race sparingly across the the 23 laps. Don't burn it all out in the first lap. You'll be too tired to race anymore. So homesick alien, keeping Sharen at bay and keeping the Peugeots in his uh, mind's eye. There's Snorlax. He's on the softs as well with Pat. Very good in the Mitzi on the mediums Ensign Ewer on the softs right there in his wake then we have the halves we've got three breast here with Jokers halves and Coy is it and uh, Mrs Guesty moves ahead of uh, I can't see Jokers Jokers there you go Jokers coming back along the straight though and Mrs Guesty staying defensive on the inside making Jokers do the work around the outside it's going to be a tough one and Jokus you're not going to risk it from there bud are you oof Jokus a man who is very brave and he loses the position to Koi Karp there because he asked too much I think of his car and the Baz there as well in 12 looking to get a move done on that Jokus and Madelinski right there, he's not been enjoying uh, this track and car combo. Haza's pulled out about a second on Matt Psycho, and Matt Psycho's worry might not be Haza today. It might be Homesick Alien, Sharen, and Snorlax, because three of them are all queued up behind the Peugeot. This is an interesting turn up for, of, of developments. And, uh, wow, it's, uh, it's a battle and a half there, isn't it? Let's get on board with Snorlax. He's got a beautiful view here. Ensign Newitt's got himself past Pat. Pat was on the medium tyres, though. And uh, the Haas is behind Pat. Haza leads from Matt Psycho. Matt Psycho is right at the front of this queue of cars we're looking at now. Coming down the straight. And the homesick alien. They're all looking in the toe. Shiren just ahead of us into the brake in the Lexus. Really good on brakes there. Close the gap right up to the four cars ahead of him. That's amazing stuff. Look how tight it is all the way around. Haza not being able to pull away that much. Matt, oh no, Matt Psycho's in the lead, sorry. I missed that. Matt Psycho take, took the lead from Haza. He must have got him in the toe. And now Homesick Alien under threat from Sharen. No, Sharen tucks in again at Hell's Corner. And a Homesick Alien continues on. But nothing between Snorlax, Sharen and Homesick Alien. And Haza only seven tenths up the road, and Matt Psycho starting to pull away. He wants to break the toe before they get to that back straight. And it looks like he might just do it if he, he nails this lap. 
Matt Psycho then six tenths ahead of the Haas and Haas are pushing on but he's got to be wary of uh, the queue of cars behind him Sharen now backing away from the alien and more concentrating on uh, that uh, Lexus that's right in the action too let's have a look further to a field Ensign's pretty much on his own pass on those medium tyres oh he's had a chunk of wall but so did the halves behind him and the halves having a squirrel oh it's getting a bit squiddly out there it must be a cold track and the tyres are struggling to warm up because we're seeing all these cars having a little squirrel. Mrs. Guesty's in 10th. She's got Jokers for company in 11th. Madelinski 12th ahead of the Baz. The Baz has destroyed everything on that car. And it looks very greasy out there as Haas are under trouble, under fire from the Alien. And there may not be rain around here, but the track looks very greasy. And the overcast there, keeping the track quite cool and Haza on the medium tyres, so he can't light those medium tyres up. And that, Matt Psycho on the softs, he's gone and away. And Homesick doesn't want to hang around whilst Haza struggles with the medium tyres. He wants to get by. God damn it, they say it's not rainy here, but it damn well looks near enough wet, doesn't it? <laughs> Without being wet. And Homesick and Haza really toughing it out there. Elbows out for both of them. This is they said it's, it's based on the BTCC of the 90s era and man alive that looked like it then with door banging around and Haza loses out to all of them the medium tire car is just struggling with the grip and the overcast keeping the track cool is uh, making it almost impossible for the medium tires to to kick into life Ensign Ewer on the softs he'll be catching up uh, Haza if Haza's not careful then uh, Pat, he's on the medium tyres, he's been struggling with them. Halves trying to close the gap with Koi Carp in chase. Mrs. Guesty there as well in the fight and Jokus. There's fighting up and down the field here. And uh, Madelinski has uh, lost a bit of ground to those guys, but he's uh, six seconds ahead of the Baz who's playing catch up right now. And Baz, remember, on the podium in the, the first race. And, uh, this is a masterclass of Bathurst from Matt Psycho at the moment. Absolutely nailing every single apex and not putting a single foot wrong. Homesick Alien in second place with Sharen in third. And Snorlax there in fourth ahead of the Peugeot on medium tyres of Haza. Ensign Ewart, 3.6 seconds. He was four seconds behind. So Ensign Ewart is closing in on the Peugeot there in his uh, non-Lexus. Pat in the Mitsubishi. Staying ahead of scary Rambo. He's pulled away, in fact. Wouldn't they just like nose to tail? And Koi Karp starting to close in on the Halfmeister. On board with Koi Karp in the Mazda. Matt Psycho still leads from Homesick. Alien with Sharen in third spot. We're sat in ninth with... In the chat then, we have Mama Sykes saying, right Matt, foot down. And uh, Mama Sykes also saying, looks wet and slippy. It does, doesn't it? It really does. There might not be rain here, but I do think that's a bit of a greasy track out there. If it's not wet, it's definitely slippy for these guys. It looks uh, especially slidey. So Koi Kart then in ninth. Trying to close in on the BMW. But the halves, he's done a few races with us now. He knows the score and he's on pace, man. He is absolutely nailing it. Oh, looks damp and slippy. Sorry, not wet and slippy. Yeah, damp and slippy, says Mama Sykes. So Matt Psycho, 1.4 seconds ahead of the alien and the Hyundai could be a threat here. And uh, we were, I was sitting back thinking this one is uh, Matt Psycho's, he's going to go flying. But it doesn't look like the Peugeot's have got that, that pace advantage we thought that they had beginning of the season. And uh, this track might be they're, they're making them a little unstuck because uh, either Homesick Alien is driving, but it's not just Homesick, Sharen as well and Snorlax in the Lexus all staying together here and not letting Matt Psycho pull away. Interesting racing coming up. Haza losing even more ground to him, but Ensign Ewart not pulling him in 
any closer. He's lost a bit of time to Haza at the moment, but he is steadily pulling away from the Pat, who's maintaining the gap from Harves, who's being caught by Koi Carp, and there's a bubbling pot of uh, fire and racing coming up there with Mrs. Guesty as well closing in, bringing Jokus along for the uh, fun and giggles that's just about to unfurl for that battle for what really essentially is sixth maybe seventh and koi is there koi is on it and uh, mrs guesty as well is in the tow zone and they're all towing each other it's a tow train come on and join the tow train choo choo as they head towards the chase Oh, and Koi Carp misjudges the break-in into the chase. Loses a spot to Mrs. Guesty. Mrs. Guesty up and into ninth place now, being absolutely shadowed by Jokus. I think she's got herself a stalker there. He's not leaving her alone. And uh, Mrs. Guesty just dealing with the pressure and making uh, her race her race as she closes in on the halves. Fantastic stuff. How's the racing up ahead? Matt Psycho, 1.5 seconds ahead of Homesick Alien, who still has the fastest lap of the race. Sharen in third, maintaining the same pace. And we saw he struggled on that Beamer, though. As soon as his tyres go, the, the Beamer does start to struggle. But... It's saving graces, this overshadow is making the, the track pretty cool and they're not tearing up their tyres like they were in the sprint. So, I mean, they didn't tear their tyres up that badly at the sprint race, but enough from start losing adhesive to the track. Uh, Haza then fifth place and he's starting to come alive now, closing the gap ahead of him and pulling out a gap on Enter Newer, who's still pulling out a gap on Pat, whom is maintaining with the halves. Oh no, Jokers is ahead of uh, Mrs. Guesty. We missed it, we must have pulled away just at the wrong moment. And Jokers is ahead in the beamer and he's starting to stretch his legs, but he's a bit, a bit of barrier there. And uh, Mrs. Guesty says, all day, mate, all day. And, uh, that helps with uh, the Koi Carp problem as well, because Koi Carp all up and in Jokes' business, but he's got himself around now. But that has given uh, Mrs. Guesty an opportunity to pull out a second out of the tow zone on the most essential part of the track. That couldn't have landed any better for Mrs. Guesty, but I have a feeling the Mazda might have a bit more top end than the Mitsubishi. Seems not, no, Mrs. Guesty holding that line. But all amongst all of that, the halves has pulled out another second on the chasing gang. And uh, Pat there doing a fantastic job on those medium tyres, remember. They must be an absolute nightmare to drive on. So the battle up ahead then. Home 6 lost a bit more time to Matt Psycho. And Matt Psycho has just put in a killer lap time. Absolute killer, man. A 202.824. The boy is wild he is absolutely on it homesick alien trying to keep up with the peugeot but matt psycho is on his game and that's the a game sharen then slipping back to snorlax snorlax could be a threat to sharen here for his podium and haza is starting to close the gap to the guys ahead as well haza going very deep into this race we think whilst the other guys may pit is Haza going to try and turn it into a one-stop? I mean, you'd have to get to lap 12. I mean, you get to lap 12, which at the moment he easily could with fuel. The tyres are not too bad. Could he make the lap that the tyres last? Yeah, I think he can. I think we're seeing Haza doing a one-stop here. We may be seeing the other guys. Well, we'll see. We'll see when they come in. But we know once those softs get about half worn they're not that good anymore but they take a while to get half worn so right then so pat is doing fine against the halves the halves maintain oh oh yeah oh no jokes did we see what happened to jokers there i think we may have done i think we saw mrs guesty get herself back past jokers and she's closed the gap to the halves now down to 1.7 seconds from 2.8 seconds and the halves could be in trouble here from the Mitsubishi that is uh, thundering its way towards him 
Koi Cup there in 10th place, only two tenths ahead of the BMW, and the BMW is coming through. So be careful, Koi, on your left, mate. And that's the BMW up and in to 10th place, top 10. For Jokus at the moment, Koi Karp struggling with this track. We saw him in the chat saying it's he hates this track. And Baza has got himself past the Madelinski. Oh, Madelinski carrying some damage. The Baza on his way. Remember, he was a podium sitter in the sprint race. And uh, he will be going for it again, I'm sure. Trying to get as many positions as he possibly can. Matt Psycho then, two seconds. In the chat, Mama Sykes saying, nice to have you with... Uh, live racing thingy oh thanks it's nice to be live racing the, the, the replays get a bit boring on your own it's nice to be in the thick of the action where it's all happening problem is there's always something and you're missing but you can't help with that so homesick has pulled a lovely gap out on Sharen. Sharen might know his tires don't look like they're struggling too much but maybe he's pacing himself and snorlax is leaning on those tires quite heavily but the lexus seems to like it doesn't mind. Haza, another second. I think he's closed in. Only three and a half seconds behind Snorlax. Now it's two and a half seconds. And Haza really is starting to close the gap. And the medium's coming into their own. Possibly fuel is no issue here at all. They do need to stop to top it up. But it's not what's uh, dictating that their pit stops. I think it will be tyres. Ensign Newitt. He's about halfway through his tyres. And he's just in the middle of nowhere. He's 10 seconds behind Haza and 10 seconds ahead of the pack. And he's got to be pleased with that. He's done an absolute stunning first stint of this race. And he's, uh, he's, he's landed it. He's landed it. He's, he's going to jump Pat. Pat's going to be on the softer tyre, though. Next go round. But I think Ensign Newer has already used the medium tyre in the sprint race. So he, he can choose, but he, I bet you he chooses mediums anyway. Pat's had a bump, and the halves is in a nightmare with the Mitsubishi. Harvey, I mean, no, come off a fantastic sprint race, is uh, now having to deal with the pressure of the up-and-coming Mrs. Guesty. She's uh, pretty much knocking Guesty out of his race seat at the moment and holding her own, which is fantastic. Harvey making a small mistake just now. And that's Egging Mrs. Guesty on, who's going for the killer move now. And it's side by side, and they've got a lapped car ahead of him, I believe. That's not Pat, is it? It is, you know. My word, they have closed up to Pat. And it's a race on here for seventh place. And it's a drag race now, but it looks like the Mitsubishi's got it, trying to just antagonize Harvey into the corner. Harvey slings the beamer there. And how does he survive that? I'm sure Mrs. Ha uh, Mrs. Guesty was sitting back there thinking he is biting the barrier. But somehow, some way, the beamer survived. I think the curb saved him. I think he, he hooked the curb. And it kind of slid him through the corner. But Harvey, um, unbelievable. He sent that one from miles back. And Pat now, what's going on? Pat's tyres, mediums, starting to be uh, worn. It looks like he made a mistake. 2.11 last time around, and he's got himself dusted off and back on his pace again because he's pulling out from the halves. And uh, Mrs. Guesty was tough in that battle, but Jokers will soon be upon him, although Jokers has picked up a bit of damage. Quick look at the front, though. I know we got racing on there, but Matt Psycho two seconds ahead of a homesick alien, whom is three seconds ahead of Sharen, whom is only a second ahead of uh, the Lexus of Snorlax. Haza fastly catching. No, he's, he's gone to three seconds now. Uh, Ensign knew it's all on his own, and it's the battle with Pat, uh, Harvey, and uh, Mrs. Guesty. Mrs. Guesty all over the scary Rambo. Scary Rambo must have tyre woes. He has. He's got some tyre woes in his pocket there but the pat on the medium tires keeps dinging his smitzy and that's how they've caught him up it's pat's birthday remember harvey be nice only hits him once when you go by and around the outside the halves looks leaves himself vulnerable to uh, mrs guesty who has nearly had him there nearly had him fantastic stuff Harvey, the BMW in the Mitsubishi sandwich. Oh, and, and Pat's tyres give way to him. And that's uh, Jokers as well.
can get through there. He does. He's catching up the Harvey and uh, Mrs. Guesty fight. And Mrs. Guesty, we know she's got good pace here. She's being held up a little bit by halves. She's gone for the move, though, up the inside. She's got the toe up the straight. Breaks lovely and gets through the corner. And now she is going to try and run away because Harvey is definitely struggling with the tyres. And the other BMW is starting to catch up. What is Pat going to do? He's, take, he's losing too much time on those medium tyres. He's got to pit. You've got to pit, bro. I'm sorry, man. I know that the, the soft tyres aren't going to go 13 laps, but you are losing too much time. Koi Karp is coming up behind you, and I'm not sure. They're all going to try and one-stop this, I'm sure. Madelinski's gone in. Madelinski has made a decision. He's gone in. He's hardly touched the mediums, though. Maybe is he retiring the car? That's a... Yeah, that's a retirement. Uh, so Matt Psycho 2.3 seconds ahead of Homesick Alien with Shiren 3.2 seconds behind. He's starting to shake off Snorlax. Snorlax probably starting to feel the tyres on his car are starting not to be what he would like them to be. Haza still three seconds behind on those medium tyres. This race is really hard to read. It looks like I think they're all going for a one stop. The sun's out now though. The, sun, the clouds have gone away and that sun is out so that we're going to see some tyre deg really, really quickly. Mrs. Guesty up to seventh. This is exciting stuff. Ensign Newer has nearly killed his tyres. He's nearly killed his tyres and now the sun's out. I think the tyres are going to just disappear. They've got to that lap 11, which is amazing, but it was under a very dark cloud and now the cloud's gone. In, I think the, the, these guys are... Oof. I don't know, because we're virtually there in a one stop, but will the tire, will the soft tire last the second half of the race with the sun beating down and the track of raising temperature? Homesick Aliens got that lead down to under two seconds now. And this is fantastic stuff. And Matt Psycho, 203.6, his last time out. 203.8 from the Alien. And uh, the Hyundai definitely has the, the, the pace of the Peugeot today and uh, who knows who's going to win this race at this point. How's the fuel doing? Matt's used a little more fuel than the Hyundai. Shiren's picked up damage but luckily he's got himself a bit of distance from uh, the Snorlax but that is really good news for Haza who's barely touched his tyres. If he used the soft tyres in the first race he possibly might be thinking of going without a pit stop. There might be no pit stops in this race. There might be uh, one or two out there that think they can go all the way. Um, Madelinski saying DNF for me. My pedals started acting up. Brake pedal was flickering even when I wasn't pressing it. And Madelinski saying, going to watch the rest of the race. Yeah, man, grab a beer, chill out. Why not? Why have that stress? This is fun. If it's not fun, no one wants you, no one's, no one wants you to you know, not have fun. We're here for fun. Is fun with a capital F. Oh, and Snorlax goes into the pits. His tyres are dead, sir. That is one dead parrot. Deceased. No more. Gone to make its maker. Gone to meet its maker. So Matt Psycho 1.4 seconds ahead of Homesick Alien with Shiren four seconds behind them. Shiren's kept them tyres in. We said the Beamer really kills its tyres, but it's not doing too bad. And uh, Madelinski saying I should be a co-host at this point or something. Yeah. Haza, Haza's out there. He's lost time. He's lost six seconds. My word, what has happened to Haza's pace today? Ensign Ewer is nearly out of tyre. Snorlax is out of the pits. He's out of the pits ahead of Mrs. Guesty. Pat opted not to make the pit stop, but he has improved his lap time. But we had like three, three really rough lap times there and maybe one not so great lap time. Then Black Cloud's coming back. Jokers is in for a tyre change. So is the halves. So is Koi Karp. So is Madelinski. Oh, Madelinski is having a rest. Sorry, so Matt Psycho, oh my word, Homesick Alien is only half a second behind Matt Psycho. What is going on? What has happened here? What, what, what? All right, all right, all right. What we got going on here then? So Matt Psycho, half a second, is he easing off? Looking after his tyres, he's really lent on that rear right tyre, has Matt Psycho. And uh, yes, that is one ailing tyre. He doesn't want to spin, does he? 
so easy. I mean, we've, we're in one stop pass. They've got less laps to do than they've done. He can't be thinking of a no stop. Well, I think Hazard might be thinking of a no stop. So yeah, Matt Psycho goes in. The tyres have said they have spoken. And uh, Matt Psycho has answered the call of the tyre. And Sharen is managing to stay out. Oh my word. Hazard does go in. It's not a no stopper. Oh, he's going to be dangerous. He's going to put some softs on and uh, he's going to be a reap weapon. Ensign knew it then. <laughs> he's got to pit anyway. I know he does it. I know he doesn't like to pit. I know he likes his tyres very sloppy. But he's got a pit, Annie. He's got a pit, and Snorlax there, just ahead of Mrs. Guesty, who's not pitted yet, and her soft tyres are well in there. Go on, Mrs. Guesty, crack on. Pat, struggling. Bazza, all the others that Mrs. Guesty was racing, though, they've pitted. Scary Rambo has had to put mediums on. Jokers, I think, has already used the mediums, so he's out there on softs, and he's going to nail the other BMW of scary rambo and that's jokers up and into 10th somewhat better race than his sprint race it's looking like a pattern of jokers he has a terrible sprint race and always comes back a bit stronger in the feature madelinski having a rest koi carp then on the soft tires fresh out the pits he's only two seconds behind the battling beamers as the baz goes in and the beamers come through and Harves is ahead of the Jokers on the medium tyres. Harves is really getting his elbows out here. He's taking no prisoners. He's not being dictated to in this race. And now Jokers has to deal with a very fast Koi Carp on his tail. Man alive, I was going to go and have a look at what's going on up at the front. But how can you when this battle's uh, underway? Did Ensign pit then? I think Ensign may have pitted then. So the Harve, oh, I don't know though, he's 27 seconds ahead of him. Seems like a mad thing that he wouldn't pick when he should. So the Baz still in the pits there as these three battle on. And he's back out now and he's some way off him, my word. So uh, Holmes Agalian hasn't pitted. He's leading this race by 5.3 seconds to Sharen, who also has not pitted. And he's 22 seconds ahead of Matt Psycho. Matt Psycho gone to the medium tyre now. And... Uh, yeah, I think Homesick raced on softs in the first race. And so did Sharen. Snorlax up. He's only eight seconds behind Matt Psycho on a set of soft tyres. My word, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be interesting. Haza, he's gone to the softs. Oh, my word. He's, he's only three seconds behind Snorlax. Mrs. Guesty yet to pit. And she's eight seconds ahead of Pabba. Her battle today. Oh, yeah, Ensign did pit. So she, she, Mrs. Guesty's looking for that gap behind Ensign Ewart. Looks like Koi Karp won the battle in the end between Harves and Jokers, as it's Koi Karp who is ahead. Come on, Koi. Keep it together. Jokers in 10th and the Harves in 11th. And the Baz has got a lot of ground to make up and already picking up a bit of damage on the medium tyre. Homesick Alien then on lap 14. But he's got to do mediums. That's why he's reluctant to come in. He's got to go for a run on the mediums. I believe Sharen's got to go to the mediums. Snorlax might be in a really good position here, you know. I'm not sure. He's going to be there or about, and so is Haza on the soft tyre. This race is unbelievable stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Mrs. Guesty, yet to pit. Think, think she was on soft, so I think she may have to put the mediums on. So it's another one that's going to try and stay out, and, and the tyres are staying with her. So uh, no reason to pit until those tyres say time to pit. Pat on the mediums, he's trying to go long, but he, he really, you want to be on the softs, don't you? He can put the softs on next. And he's got caught up by Ensign Newer, who he's not racing to with, really. And Ensign Newer, he's really racing with, well, it was Snorlax and Haza, wasn't it? He was chasing. Haza four seconds behind Snorlax. Snorlax is on it today. Seven seconds behind Matt Psycho. That was eight seconds. Sharen and Home Six still not wanting to pit yet. They don't want to go to those medium tyres, but we can have a look at what the pace of the medium tyre is on. Well, Haza, before his pit stops, pit stop, sorry, was doing 204s, 203s on the mediums. That's not too bad, but Haza is unbelievably fast.
Oh my god, I'm thirsty, man. There's been a lot of racing going on. You said that. Shiren then, and homesick. Yet to pit. That cycle on the medium tyres, but I think this might be going a bit better for him because he's doing well. He's not. He's not gaining on him on those mediums. He's doing the same lap times. Snorlax, though, talk about gaining. He's doing 203s to Matt Psycho's 204s. But will his tyres be there at the end of the race? We've seen that that Lexus tear its tyres up a good one. So Mrs. Guesty yet to pit as well, like the leader. She's on the same strategy as Homesick Alien and Shiren. Ensign Newer, nine seconds behind her. Pat's into the pits. So is that going to be Koi Carp? He's racing with Koi Carp and Jokus, wasn't he? And that's Koi Carp going past the pits now, ahead of Pat. So Pat, though, will get the nice soft tyres on and they'll last a bit longer than Jokus. And, uh, and there's Pat coming out the pit now. He's ahead, he's ahead. Just about ahead of Koi Carp and Joker. So Pat has got to get a shifty on. He's going to have cold tyres. But he can't hang about because he's got Koi Carp and uh, Jokus coming up at him. The halves dropping back. He's on their medium tyres, remember, though. So he's going to be struggling now. Homesick Alien has pitted. Homesick Alien has made the pit stop. We want to watch Matt Psycho, but we want to see how Pat holds up against the Jokus and... Um, Koi on them cold tyres. Shiren's in the pits as well. Oh, Pat, I've got to go, man. I've got to, I've got to see Matt. Psycho. He's coming up to the pit lane now. Sorry, Pat. This is a big point in the race. And uh, Matt Psycho then. It looks like it's going to be an easy job. But he's on the medium. He's, he's on the medium tyres. Where's Snorlax? Homesick on the medium tyres. Also back out. Ahead of Matt Psycho. Ahead. He's done the impossible. Homesick Alien staying out has given him track position ahead of Matt Psycho. And what do they call that then? If it's the under... Hang on. I always forget it because it's such a stupid thing and obvious. I don't care. Undercuts. That must be the overcut. Homesick Alien doing the overcuts. Oh, Matt Galinsky said something in the chat, didn't he? Snorlax doing a good job. I felt like RCF was a bit slower than the rest of the pack at the straights. So, there you go. Snorlax up into third then. He's jumped Shiren, but Shiren's on the mediums, remember. Matt Psycho's on the mediums, and Snorlax has pulled another second in on Matt Psycho. Homesick Alien leads Haza in fifth place on the soft tyres. He's getting a 2.037 now, but really, I'm very surprised Haza is not in this race for some reason he is in this race obviously mrs guesty still hasn't peered she may be the only one that hasn't pitted now is she gonna go all the way we're on lap 16 of 23 my word uh pat's out there on the softs this is the problem you've got people who are on soft tires going rather swiftly when you're staying out on a slower set of tires and uh, pat koi carp jokers may jump Mrs. Guesty on this strategy. We'll see, we'll see. Who knows, it worked for Homesick Alien. I didn't think it would. I honestly didn't. I thought Matt Psycho had had that one. But no, Homesick Alien. In, out, shook it all about. And that's what it, it's all about, I guess. Well, they, no wonder it rhymes. They're the same word. I never noticed before. It's lazy. So Matt Psycho still has to fight for the win and Homesick Alien looking for a double win here. Oh no, oh no, what's happened? Snorlax, this is your race, man. And he's had some sort of moment or something. He's only lost the one position, thankfully. But oh, Snorlax, oh my Lord, you know I'm gonna try and watch it. Here we go then, Snorlax doing a fine job coming down to Murray's. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Oh, one wheel on the grass. The cruel, cruel woman that is GT7. Oh, what a meanie. What an absolute meanie. Oh, Snorlax, all our hearts break for you, man. But Guesty, Mrs. Guesty is in the pits. This is the fight. 
Pat. Oh, I reckon Mrs. Guesty might get herself out ahead of these guys, but she's going to be on the medium tyre. They're on the soft tyre. Oh, no, here they come. They're down to the final corner now. Mrs. Guesty is getting topped up with fuel. Pat's coming along the straight. Mrs. Guesty's on the medium tyre. She's out. She's out. She's out. Pat's not even in the final corner yet, and she's got a nice little lead. She's got a little bit of a gap there between herself and Pat, Koi Cup and Jokus all on the soft tyre, all coming at a formidable pace. And Mrs. Guesty cannot hang around on those medium tyres. We've got around about six laps to go. And it's going to be a tough battle for Mrs. Guesty to keep that seventh spot. Homesick Alien, meanwhile, seven tenths ahead of Matt Psycho. And Matt Psycho, it feels like he's going for the kill now. And the big threat of uh, Snorlax on those soft tyres has gone away because Snorlax just put one little pit of wheel on the grass and got himself turned around. What a cruel game. And Haza a second now behind uh, Sharen, the Russian sensation. If he's got it, he's got to find it because Haza's bringing it. Oh, my word, there goes Matt Psycho on the move against the alien but the alien sticking it in the middle of the track saying it's not going to be that easy and uh, but he does get it done he doesn't he does because he's going to have the inside line but homesick alien the hundy seems to have as, as good a straight line speed as the Peugeot look at him the, the track honestly in car isn't that wide it doesn't feel that wide Oh, they're going for it together, and they nearly did it, but Homesick Alien having to go the longer way around uh, misses out. Oh, my word. And uh, I don't want to be like Sky, Sky F1, but I do, I've do. i got a replay of the beginning of that move. So if uh, I think it looks like Matt Psycho on his game and pulling away from the alien unbelievable drive from uh, matt psycho and homesick alien these two are smashing it right dare i okay let's have a quick look at the beginning of that move then so matt psycho goes for the outside of murray's gets a good run against the alien homesick alien gets a little squirrel and that is how that started and what an unbelievable move that took two corners to execute fantastic driving boys fantastic driving side by side all the way up the straight we don't need to see it do we it is beautiful i grant thee but there's racing happening and we can't watch that again so matt psycho ahead of the alien homesick alien trying to get a toe down this straight haza up into third and uh, getting Sharen, I don't know, on the track or in the pits, I can't remember, I think it was when Sharen was in the pits, came out in fourth, Snorlax in fifth place, has he pitted? Snorlax pitting, he's going to have very super fresh tyres come the end of the race, he hasn't pitted, he can't have pitted, his tyres look fresh though, he has, and he's still in fifth place, oh my word, but Ensign Ewart not far behind, and then in the chat, uh, Madelinski saying homesick is killing it tonight and Mama Sykes saying awesome it was awesome you're right it's fantastic stuff between the two of them they both must have been grinning from ear to ear and their hearts must have been thumping at a ridiculous rate so there's Ensign Ewer on the chase of Snorlax who's gone in and put some fresh tyres on but he's quite away from the battle now 38 seconds behind leader Matt Psycho whom is owning Bathurst tonight and Homesick nearly nearly was feeling a double win, a double win at his favourite track but the cruel cruel fate says that Matt Psycho is on his game today he's on form and uh, making it difficult for Homesick and Haza on the soft tyres, let's not count him out doing a 2.03.1 next to the Aliens 2.05 Oh, <laughs> these guys haven't gonna. It might not all go their way because Haza is killing it behind them and catching them at an unbelievable rate. And uh, these two could be in trouble actually, thinking about it. Sharen, he's on the medium tyres now. He's not gonna catch the guys ahead of him and he's got the gap to Snorlax. Would he not be tempted to go in and put medium to, uh, soft tyres on for the final run? just because i mean there's only four laps left 
I don't suppose it's worth it, it's just for fun. And it gets exciting for me if he goes in and picks, because Snorlax will be all right there. So Snorlax in fifth, Ensign you a fine race. He's not really seen much. He's not had much action, but he's done what needs to do. Sometimes racing on your own is one of the hardest, trying to keep up the pace. It's a lot easier to have cars around you to keep your pace up. When you're on your own, sometimes you can easily have a little lack of uh, concentration, uh, ease off a little bit. So Ensign Ewer, it's not an easy race when you're on your own. Has done what needs to be done, and he looks like he's secured that sixth place. Koi Carp comes out top. Oh, Mrs. Guestia didn't look. She did come out ahead, but she was on the medium tyres, and that was always going to be tough. And it looks like Koi Carp now, but Koi Carp's using those tyres, so stick with it, Mrs. Guesty, because the, the Koi is uh, on a set of softs and he's burning through them, and they'll probably be dead by the end of this race. Jokers as well, well and truly through his soft tyres, he's fast, but how long can it last? Don't, don't, don't fret, Mrs. Guesty. Don't fret. Their tyres are going to go before the flag comes out, and. Uh, Pat was in that battle, but he's dropped back a little bit. Oh, lap 17, he had a 2.15.2. The halves had to go on to the median tyres, and that was the end of his race. And he's got the Baz trying to catch him up, but the Baz only managing 2.07s on the medium tyres. Similar lap times to the halves. So Matt Psycho leading the race by two seconds now. He really is starting to edge out from the alien, and I think Matt Psycho knows. He knows that the Haza is coming. 2.025 from the Haas. They'll be very much aware of that. They'll be seeing the time ticking down, or the alien will be noticing the time ticking down. And uh, Matt Psycho will be seeing that the fastest lap just flicked up as Haza is a 2.02.5. And he'll know that he's third in the order. So Matt Psycho is uh, trying to raise the, raise the pace, trying to make the inevitable on un uninevitable but i'm saying it's inevitable and uh madelinski saying shout out to the official vrc shop for providing me a mug which made drinking tea possible tonight oh well done madelinski fantastic stuff thank you i say thank you i don't get now of it but it's nice it's nice to spread the word it's nice to have uh, to be be part of your normal your routine or whatever so Cool. The hoodies are really good as well. I saw the hoodies. Uh, I think Big Dan had one and Skyjacker had one when we went to Brands Hatch. And uh, yeah, yeah. They're, I keep meaning to get myself ordered one. I'm just don't go on the internet much. I'm an app kind of guy. So uh, Homesick Alien then in second place, two and a half seconds behind Matt Psycho, and Haza is coming. But is it too late? Shiren there in fourth place. Looks pretty safe, does Shiren. He's on the medium tyres. He's maintaining a 205. Snorlax had a, had a big crash and then went in to get some fresh tyres because he wants fastest lap, I reckon. Can he get the fastest lap from Haza? That'd be interesting. And then we have Ensign Newitt. We're saying about doing a fantastic job maintaining that pace. He's 28 seconds ahead of Koi who is now leaving Mrs. Guesty behind, but I do think them tyres possibly could die before the end of the race, although it looks like the sun is starting to set, so the track might stay a little cool. Pat's got himself ahead of the Jokers. He was eight seconds behind him, and they're six seconds behind uh, Mrs. Guesty, who's maintaining a lovely lap time at the moment. Consistency is king, and Koi Carp with a 2.06.2, but how long can he maintain those lap times? with the tyres slowly starting to melt away. Ooh, is that another barrier from Koi there? 2.7 seconds. Mrs. Uh, Guesty closing that gap. She's got her eye on that seventh spot, I reckon. It's a lovely livery as well, by the way. Mrs. Guesty, another fantastic job done well. Well done. Matt Psycho, 2.3 seconds lead on homesick alien and Haza 2.8 seconds behind them Haza absolutely killing it at the moment and if you were Matt Psycho and homesick alien oh homesick's getting purples though if you were Matt Psycho and homesick alien you would be getting uh, squirty bomb time 
you'd be blinking that third eye as Haza closes in. And uh, Sharen, 14 seconds behind those guys. Best of the rest in fourth place. And uh, Snorlax chasing after that fastest lap. He's just off, just off by eight tenths. Fuel tank flashing, but I think that should be all right. Ensign Newitt, he's in the middle of nowhere. He's fine. Koi Cup is pulling away from Mrs. Guesty, and I feel I've given Mrs. Guesty false hope because I thought Koi Cup was going to chew his tyres up, but they've not been bad for the last couple of laps. Maybe it's because the sun's going down. But yeah, they definitely looked like they were they were getting et up. But he's he's keeping them together at the moment. And, uh, Mrs. Guesty though, not giving up on that seventh spot. It's still an opportunity there. She stayed ahead of Pat. Pat and uh, Jokers. Oh, Jokers has dropped behind the Baz now. Oh my word, it's gone from worser to worser. And uh, poor old Jokers has lost out big time there. A couple of spots. And the halves moving up into 10. He's kept his head down, cracked on with those medium tyres. His front of his BMW looks like it's absolutely had an adventure, doesn't it? And uh, I don't know what's happened there. Oh, Joker's left the room. He's he's had a nightmare. And uh, that gives Madelinsky one spot a bit more. Look at that, Madelinsky, just sitting in the pits. You ain't gained a spot. Is that the first time someone's overtaken someone in the pits here? I mean, someone's parked it and then still gained the spot for the, on the second to last lap here and he had to go in the pits and wait a lap in a bit oh he must have been so mad maybe it's the internet maybe it wasn't him oh my word we're on the last lap here and homesick alien has closed the gap he was saving some in reserves and he's up to half a second behind matt psycho and my word 20 three laps of running home matt psycho was two seconds ahead of the alien when we last looked and now homesick alien within half a second going for a grand finale here Haza maybe too far out to get anything done here and homesick alien looking for that double win i'd given up on that double win but homesick obviously hadn't and matt psycho has to fight every corner now up to the flag he, he can't rest he can't chill and enjoy his win he's got to fight for it Unbelievable race at Bathurst, one of the best there. Sharen in fourth, Snorlax in fifth, Ensign at sixth, Koi Karp in seventh, Mrs. Guesty in eighth, Pat in ninth, Harves in tenth, the Baz in eleventh. And that's all we've got running for now. And it's Matt Psycho coming on to the final straight and homesick alien. Three tenths behind in the toe zone. And this could be it. But Matt Psycho's Peugeot has got the umph. Homesick Alien doesn't seem to be closing in too soon as they get to the kink before the chase. And the brakes are going to be a lively coming into the chase. My word, Matt Psycho. There, he looks like he's done enough. And Homesick's backed out, I think. Homesick must have uh, gone in too hot. And he's too far away now as Matt Psycho comes around the final corner and takes the win great stuff from matt psycho oh he's not crossed the line yet let's not get too excited and homesick in second harzer in third take a boo my son sharen coming home in fourth great points for the russian sensation what an absolute humdinger of a race ladies and gents what a humdinger of a race beautiful stuff there and sharen crossing the line as the sun sets here on the mountain a great fourth place. Snorlax in fifth. Didn't quite get that fastest lap, but a good effort anyway. Good thinking, really. Being able to pit and know you're ahead of people. So Snorlax grabs himself fifth spot. Good points. Good points. Ensign Newark, great race in the Mazda. Top Mazda. Runner. And the Atenza doing very well. His tyres aren't, though. <laughs> best, best way. But look at him. He's miles ahead of Koikart in the other master so great drive from ensign you there well done for sixth place beautiful koi cup cracking stuff i thought those tires were going to give up on him and i thought mrs guesty was going to come and attack at the end but no koi kept the tires in and managed to keep it going all the way 
to the final flag. I'll read all the comments. The comments are coming in thick and fast, ladies and gents, and I will get on them as soon as we see our participants cross the line. There is Koi Carp for a fantastic seventh. Oh, Mrs. Guesty. Did she have to back off for fuel? But she gets eighth, but Pat was on her case in ninth. Pat looked miles away, and he came back at her near the end of the race. The two Mitzies finishing line astern. Beautiful stuff. Eighth for Mrs. Guesty, ninth for Pat. Happy birthday, Pat. Harvey coming across the line for tenth, and I'd take that any day. The Baz in 11th wasn't that far behind the Harbors in the end. And Madelinski has come out just across the line, I guess. Will it be before the time runs out? As he enjoys his cup of tea in a VRC mug. Right then, so the chats, where were we? Yeah, Madelinski says, I've got a hoodie as well. The most comfy hoodie I've ever had. And I'm not joking now. Great stuff. No, the hoodie looks great. I'm really into it. Madelinski crossing the line in 12th place, but the combo of the Lexus and uh, the Mountain were not for him. And it's Matt Psycho. Well done, my chap. Let's have a look at your bum. There you go. What a fine tushy as well it is. It's uh, Matt Psycho, ladies and gents. Well done. Great win. So in the ta chat then, uh, Madelinski saying Jokus was a bit off tonight. I was chasing him in the sprint race and he was struggling a lot. But a few more points are very welcome about his uh, overtaking Jokus whilst stationary in the pits. Homesick Alien saying, well done, Matt. Great race. Matt Psycho saying, good God, I'm shaking. And Matt Psycho saying, homesick, epic buddy. Nice. Madelinski saying, great race, guys. Really well. Nice to watch your battle. Mama Homesick saying, great racing, homesick. Well done, Matt. Mama Sykes saying, wicked, great racing, guys. Well done, boys. And Mama Sykes saying, thanks, Thingy. Congrats, Matt. And uh, Koi Carp saying, thank God that's over. That was a good feature race, Matt, uh, Koi. You got some good positions there. Let's have a look at those results before. Oh, was there someone apologizing? Pat, close finish there to Mrs. Guesty. So, okay then. Wow. What a race. So, Matt Psycho takes the win ahead of homesick alien and Haza finishing in third that's that's going to change things in the table but Haza did get the fastest lap there so and uh, but Masaka got the pole remember wow we've been we've been through an adventure around the mountain tonight my word Shiren in fourth in the BMW with Snorlax finishing in fifth in the Lexus. Nice mix there, isn't it, really? A bit of everything up the top there. Ensign at sixth in the Atenza with Koi Carp seventh in the, the Mazda. Then Mrs. Guesty in the Mitsubishi in eighth place with Pat in ninth, also in a Mitsubishi. Harvey brings it home tenth in the BMW, and he was having a cracking race, but unfortunately those medium tyres kind of just put it, put it to rest for him, and he didn't have the fight to stay with uh, Jokus. Well, Jokus, he ended up ahead, so it's not too bad. But he couldn't stay with the Pat and Koi as he had to go put the medium tyres on. Baza, don't know what happened in that feature race, just never came to him. Madelinski in 12th and uh, Jokus finishing 13th. Wowzers, what an absolute cracker, eh? What an absolute cracker. And Koi Carp in the chat saying, I really don't get on with that track whatsoever. And Pat says, had a spin, a few lost from the end, lost about eight seconds, almost recovered the time. You were right on the edge of uh, the back end of Mrs. Guesty, cracking stuff. Mama Homesick saying, thanks for more great commentary thingy. You're welcome. And Matt Sykes saying, cheers thingy. Hey, it's a pleasure. It's an absolute pleasure. I was your broadcaster and uh, your commentator, Pat McGroin. Thank you for joining us here at the Virtual Racers Club. Uh, next, we have um, the last round, I think. I don't know for sure. Don't, don't bank on it. But I think it's the last round of the Vision Grand Turismo series. So join us on Thursday night for some electric racing. And uh, we're saving the earth here at the Virtual Racers Club. And then the next live one will be Sunday night with the rally. No, it won't. Excuse me, I apologise, it's finished. No rally cross. I've not heard of anything for Sunday, so 
you can you can spend some time with your God on Sunday if you want, instead of with me. Right then, I think I've said everything. I've said too much probably. Uh, it's been a bit loosey goosey this one. In the chat then we've got Madelinsky saying that track is deadly in almost every way, and Madelinsky saying cheers guys, thanks thingy, no worries, no worries. Peace and love, peace and love.